Alright guys, uh, this is the Killer Nacho, and I have a battle here with my real-life friend Peppercat, and say hello, Peppercat. This Peppercat here, uh, I leave with my ass off as he leaves with a Tyranitar. Um, right off the bat, I know it's a bad matchup, so I decide to switch, and I go into a Metagross as he goes for the sub. Um, Sandstorm's just raging, and he gets leftovers. Uh, I go for the Earthquake because I know I can actually outspeed this thing. And my Tyranoboa carries a uh, flamethrower, so that's pretty nice for me because I can do quite a lot of damage that will be really helpful later against this Metagross, so that was pretty nice. And, um, yeah, I do have to switch now, so I'm going to switch out into Swampert, which, like, walls Metagrosses almost completely. He goes for the Swampert as I go for the Meter Mash. Uh, I was actually hoping the Meter Mash would do a little bit more damage or I would get a attack boost, but it doesn't get that, I guess. But yeah, so I'm gonna just set up Stealth Rock, so I know he has to switch, and that is like a free setup for Stealth Rocks for me, and I love Stealth Rock, so there we go. You're lame. So I go into my ass off because this is my counter ass off. I it love bulky waters for a reason. You guys are about to find out why. This is my uh, expert sash ass off. I do carry grass knot. There's supposed to be a uh, expert bell ass off, but I just decided to put a sash on it. See why not? So that's a dead swampert. Yeah, freaking swampert, dying to grass knot. I hate. Like, I, I was really thinking it was just a regular lead as Elf, but um, apparently he surprised me. So I go back into Tyranoboa, get the free uh, sub, and he goes out into Suicune because he's lame. You're lame. I go into my Suicune because I know my Suicune just roared this thing out, and I, if I can get, like, at least... I, if I get him out of the way, I know I can pretty much partially sweep his team. I go for the roar as he goes for the focus punch. He does get the focus punch, but I do get this thing out of the way because it's really obnoxious. So I get roared into Empoleon, and um, that kind of sucks because my Empoleon has Surf and Ice Beam, and I was kind of thinking he'd predict a switch and roar again, but instead he decides to stay in and Calm Mind. That really sucks for me because I went for the Surf just to get some damage. Silly Nacho, I don't know why you would think I would roar. There's no Stealth Rock, you're not taking any damage, so why? I, I just go in for the Calm Mind see what we do. Um, right now I know I can take another Surf nicely due to the Calm Mind, so I just decide to go for another Calm Mind. And I know now I have to switch, so I go out into my Mix Ments, and he has two Calm Minds up, so I really can't go for the Draco Meteor. So I'm just going to go for the Outrage, and this is Mix Ments. I have Life Orb. I'm just hoping I can take this thing down, because um, this thing is now a big problem with two Calm Minds. So I go for the Outrage. He goes for the Outrage, hoping he was going to KO my Suicune, but that doesn't happen. My Suicune does live with like 15 life, and I do get off the Ice Beam, and that will KO the Salamence. But... But the sandstorm saves me here and kills that Suicune, so I I am pr I, I I was kind of happy because I still wanted that Suicune dead, and now it's dead, and that makes me happy. So it's a double switch here. I go into Tyranitar. He goes out into what does he go out? Metagross, and that's a terrible ma uh, matchup for me. I know he has to switch, so I just decided to go to an Earthquake because it hits pretty much everything I've seen so far from his team. Uh, he goes into Scizor. Uh, the scissor takes the earthquake rather nicely. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, like a two-hit KO on it. He just go for the bullet punch to KO my Metagross. Yeah, he was pretty weak, and I am running a choice band scissor, so that was a pretty nice play for me. He goes out into his own scissor, and I know he's going to probably, like, um, superpower me. I don't have anything that I want to take a superpower, so I just stay in with scissor because um, I really don't want anything else to take a superpower. And um, with that minus one attack and minus one defense, it becomes perfect setup fodder for my Metagross. So his scissor goes down, and he goes out into his Agilagross, and like I don't really have anything I want to do, so I just go to a self. I know he's going to set up the uh, agility, so but I do want my scissor at full power and I bring it back in. And with my agility, I can outspeed his whole team, which is epic for me. So if I can just get some decent hits, I think I can sweep. So I go for the Meteor Master, and Azelf, obviously that's a KO, because Azelf is, like, so pathetically weak. And um, that is really awesome for me. He brings out his Scizor now, and I don't think I'll be able to KO with Earthquake. He goes for the Earthquake. Um, I'm actually just, like, hoping I can live this. Uh, it doesn't look like one-hit KO. So I just go for the Super Power, hoping some, like, legit damage on this thing before I like see if I can uh, kill it with my next Pokemon but it drops him to hmm, high low yellow damage I mean low life so yeah so like I kill this me uh, scissor now and he goes out into an uber hold on now this was not an uber at the time of the battle I go out into my cool super specs Latias which wasn't an uber at this time because this battle happened on last Sunday and Latias was just an uber like yesterday or something so I go for the, he goes for the meteor mash and I'm actually, I know I can live this unless he gets like a random crit. And he even gets a power up. That's lame. The game hates me. 
So I'm like thinking I won't be able to live this specs surf, but watch that gear mo. Eleven hit points. Shut Thank up. you, leftovers. Thank you, leftovers. I guess that's the game trying to make a fair my sweet coon living your outrage. Ah, eh, that's lame. He goes for the thunder punch. I mean, like that's the right play because you wouldn't want to miss with the meter mash. Yeah, I used to have like explosion on this team um, instead of or this guy instead of the thunder punch, but then I kept getting walled by Gyarados, so I kind of had to change it. He goes for the earthquake, and that's a dead Tyranitar. I mean, I could, uh, I, I was actually hoping to live it, but after a plus one attack, I didn't thought I was gonna live it. That's a good game, Killer Nacho. Um, I do actually have a question of the day for you guys. Um, I just just noticed that Latias got banned. He went to Uber. Um, what other Pokemon do you thought do you think that should go alongside Latias into the Uber tier? Personally, I think uh, Scizor and Jirachi should go both. Because Scissor's obviously overused completely, you know you. And Jirachi's just really obnoxious with the Serene Grace plus, uh, what is it, 60% chance of flinching. That's just lame. Um, so leave a comment, subscribe, guys. And uh, Oh, 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 I'm actually hearing that Salamence is being, being tested to be get into the Uber. Personally, uh, Metagross should go because, you know, the Killer Nacho's lame and he uses Metagrosses a lot. But, uh, you know, just leave a comment, subscribe, and leave your answer. Peace.